Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I will be reading the October 28th Facebook post and making a couple comments on it. And I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. Here we go. Well, today's post has five points, so I will just read point by point and then make a couple comments on each one. It'll probably easier for all of us. Let me just center myself for a moment. Today, when the ego knocks on your door and demands you to not only judge others, but also judge yourself for being judgmental, instead try the following. For the short intro, I just want to make a note that um, the ego loves judgment. Judgment is one of the ego's main fuels because judgment um, separates us from our brothers and sisters. And when we're separate from our brothers and sisters, then the ego can have us to itself. <clears throat> but what we don't want to do is we don't want to think like the ego thinks because we have thought that way many times before. And it has gotten us really nowhere we truly desire to be. And so when you do not want to be comparing yourself to anything out there, so to speak. <clears throat> you want to really compare your life with the life that deep down inside you know you came here to express. And so we are love's creation and we're expressing this love through uh, many of its expressions such as kindness, generosity, passion, compassion love, peace, joy. So this is what we're here to do, to express ourselves through this. And so we're not really here to compare ourselves to what other people, quote unquote, are doing. For that really has no true effect on us. Because that only has us buy into the ego's idea of separation. And then we judge ourselves as less than or not spiritual enough because we're not doing what, quote unquote, they are doing. Or we even judge ourselves better than other people. And so even when the ego says you're wor worse than or not good enough or when you're better than, see, it's always separating you from them. But we're all one. And so let's come into this oneness that we have within us and then share what is within us out there. So whenever we're not sharing this, let us focus on what is separating us from sharing our truth. Point number one, congratulate yourself that you are conscious, aware enough to notice what the ego is trying to do. Okay, many of us sleepwalk through life. And so we have bought into the ego's programming, which is simply our parents, our society, our friends, our peers, what they taught us was real and what we bought into. And so when we're using judgment, when we're using anger, when we're using any of the devices of the ego, we're basically sleepwalking through life. And so when when you start to notice that you're actually sleepwalking through life, that judgment, anger, resentment, jealousy, none of these are really you, pat yourself on the back for catching that. So when you're, let's say you're, you judge somebody for X or Y reason, don't judge yourself for judging that person, but practice catching yourself quicker and quicker when you're in that illusionary state of judgment and by practicing catching yourself quicker and quicker the less time you will spend in the illusion so just pat yourself on the back when you see oh I'm in the illusion right now let me come back to my true self and that's simply a symptom of being awake that you're waking up that you no longer desire the sleeping world instead of your truth point number two Offer gratitude to your brother and sister for being part of a process that is assisting you in remembering that you indeed have the choice, the power of free will to react as you have been programmed to, excuse me, not to react as you have been programmed to, but as you choose to. Point number three. 
the ego again as we talked about before will love to have you judge your brother and sister but today we're gonna think back to all the times we did that and that all those times that it offered us really nothing and so instead of judging them we're gonna offer them gratitude because they are participating in a process that is helping us awaken and so these illusionary programs that we have within our minds that we can't yet see as unreal when we are frustrated when we are angry when we are regretful and resentful in some unconscious manner we're asking for help and healing because we are only love so anytime we're buying into the the egos illusions the confusion our truth is clarity our truth is not judgment it's forgiveness and so whenever this happens or we buy into this <clears throat> we judge our brothers and sisters for that but let us not do that today let us instead offer them gratitude for the part that they're playing in the process that it's helping us remove these illusions from our minds project them onto the world through our brothers and sisters actions and then by seeing that we're treating them in a certain way that's not in alignment with us that it's not making us happy and peaceful and joyful then by doing that we are seeing that this belief system that has been programmed into us in the past through our friends family society is not really true it's not really in alignment with the truth in us it's just something we have been taught to believe as real and so we're now carrying it as real but now when we see it in the actual physical world we see that this is not how we want to be that this is not truly us that this does not align with the truth in us and so let us thank our brothers and sisters for being part of that process and little by little we start using more and more gratitude instead of more and more judgment so the more gratitude we offer our brothers and sisters the less we're judging them so the gratitude increases the judgment decreases therefore the peace increases and the frustration and anger and disappointment and self-worth issues decrease number three offer a silent prayer of gratitude to your brother and sister for their participation in your lesson plan this is one that i enjoy doing myself um, if you've bought into any of the ego's illusions let's say anger when you believe within your mind that somebody out there is making you angry that is not really happening what is happening is that you have bought into a thought system that says that using anger is somehow useful to you and it's helpful to you and it will bring you some sort of peace and safety and so you have uh, accepted this programming of anger and so now you use it against your brothers and sisters but we have tried that many times before and we see how that really affects us because anger is not truly us but we have to see it out there before we remember that it's not truly us and so whenever we catch ourselves being in anger we start reminding ourselves that hey, this is not who I am so let me offer my brother who I truly am so instead of being angry at them you stop yourself you don't judge yourself for that you even forgive yourself for that and then offer the opposite of what the ego would offer them so instead of anger pray for their peace pray for their peace of mind if somehow you perceive that they made you sad pray for their happiness if somehow you have bought into the programming that they are making you jealous jealous pray for their success because you're turning the whole thing around on the ego the ego is an illusion you're going into your truth you're going from the truth from the illusion into the truth from the idea of jealousy which is not really real it's simply a, simply a program that you accepted as real and so you now use but after you've used it enough times you figure out that this is not in alignment with the truth in you and so you catch yourself doing that and instead of continuing the jealousy you pray for their success and because we're all one when you're praying for their success you're praying for your own success number five actually number four 
Yes, I can count. <laughs> I am not judging myself. <laughs> Acknowledge to yourself that this same possibility to choose peace and forgiveness instead of judgment is always available. Here we're talking about free will. In every moment, yes, uh, when we're sleepwalking through life, we're kind of like in a reactionary state. So things seem to be happening and we're reacting to whatever is happening. But that's an illusion. That's not really real. You're simply in the fairy tale. You're in the fairy tale and then you wonder why, uh, why you're confused as to what is happening and why you feel like you have no choice that you're just reacting to situations and so somebody does something that's unlike your training your previous training and so you judge them for that because you've been taught that if you judge them you're protecting yourself <coughs> excuse me and so we have a when we're sleepwalking through life when we're buying into the ego's illusions when we're buying into the ego's fairy tales we are simply uh, not acknowledging our free will because the truth within us can never be jealous or angry but if we're asleep then we can be jealous and, and, and angry but we what we don't realize when we're doing that is that we're not accepting our free will that we have the free will to see the world as it actually is as an extension of us the truth in us not the illusion and so every moment we have free will. And so something that I, that I like to do, I like to slow down myself, slow down time for me. Because many times, as I said before, we're kind of reactionary. When we're in the ego, we're reactionary. And then when we are reactionary, we kind of feel like we have no say, like we have no uh, free will, uh, that things are just happening to us. But when you slow down time, you say, whoa, whoa, wait a second. I'm being jealous of this individual. I'm not, I'm not jealousy. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm love, I'm compassion, I'm kindness, I'm forgiveness. I want success for that individual. That's who I am. I'm not jealousy, I'm, I'm success. And so you stop, slow down time, question the ego, question your illusions. Remind yourself that you, oh, I was asleep. I decided to sleep no more, now I choose to awaken. Stop the jealousy and instead choose the idea which is real of success, which is simply an extension of love. Number five, continue to remind your mind to be present conscious, to be aware that you, not the ego's past programming, have control over your mind thoughts words actions and reactions again that's simply returning to the present moment and not buying into the past programming because let us today remember that when, when we're when we are judging our brothers and sisters when we're angry resentful jealous or whatever whatever uh the eagle's game is the only reason we have bought into this illusion is because of a past programming and therefore we bring, we bring this past programming into the present moment and therefore we don't see what's really happening because we're not really in the present moment in the present we simply are bringing the past programming into the present so we're bringing these judgments and self judgments into the present and thus and then thus we're covering over the real present moment and so when we're judging our brothers and sisters or we're judging ourselves it's not good enough or whatever we have simply brought the pro past programming into the present and so we're not experiencing the present moment but when you choose consciously choose to say wait this is not me slow down this is not me i'm not i'm i am worthy i am love i am spiritual and so when you start saying that to yourself reminding yourself of your truth this begins the solution begins to dissolve and you're once again in the present moment and it is within the present moment where your truth shines and when you're able to express your true self 
and shine your truth self to others, that you are love, compassion, peace, that you are worthy. And others will, little by little, see in you something they believe that they have also in them. And so you will simply become that example. And so today, let us simply become that. Let us become the example of who we truly are. And so when the ego, when the ego is asking us to judge ourselves or our brothers and sisters, let us decline. Today we decline. Respectfully decline. And be our true selves. And just practice being our true selves through those five points, which took me a while to go through. But that's okay. I will not judge myself. <laughs> I forgive myself. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. I love you very much. If you'd be so kind as to like, comment, or share the video, it would help with the listing process. It might help somebody who can use this information find us someday. If you'd like to leave me a comment or a question, I would be delighted to offer a response. And if you can please subscribe to my YouTube videos, I would love to have you in this community. Again, thank you for your time. I love you very much. And God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.